Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you all some delicious and easy recipes and few cooking products which I have recently bought from Amazon. This one is Porosil Stainless Steel Triply Karai and it is some 2.5 litre. I ordered this karai because I have a fry pan of same company and I like that product very much. And I have been using it since some 2 years so um, you can go for it, it is worth buying it. And this one is Borosil Diecast Non-Stick Deep Fry Pan, it is some 1.5 litre. It comes with the wooden handle and the other one is a flat tower some 30 cm and I'm going to use both for the first time I'm in this company I've never used it before so let's see how it works this is wood finish handle and metal spoon friendly also The other one is Futura Hard Anodized Cook and Serve Bowl, some 3 litre. I like this because I already have one karai and one fry pan, so it is worth buying it. Do give it a try. Thank you so much for watching hope you liked it and hope you find it useful and so now let's make something in this karai and let's see how it works going to make kaju masala and it is very delicious recipe and for this i used archi mix masala soak cashew nut overnight wash it two three times and pressure cook it for some three whistles First make the ginger garlic onion paste and for that you will be needing one medium size onion, some 10 to 12 garlic and one inch piece of ginger. Add little water and pulse it. Now to that add 2 cardamom, 2 clove and half teaspoon of cinnamon powder. Make a fine paste and keep it aside till we use.
you will be needing one onion and one tomato and two medium sized potato also Now let's start cooking. So heat a curry. In that, add some two to three tablespoon of oil, one teaspoon of cumin seed, one bay leaf, and half teaspoon of kasuri methi. Add one sliced onion and sauté it till it becomes translucent. Now add half teaspoon of turmeric powder and one teaspoon of red chilli powder, and stir it for a while. And then add your ginger garlic onion paste to it. Now fry this masala for some two to three minutes till the raw smell of ginger garlic goes. Now add two tablespoon of achi masala and fry it for some two minutes on a very low flame. Now add two medium sized potato and one tomato to it and fry it with masala till oil separates. Add salt to taste. Now add cashew nuts to it. Mix it nicely.
Close the lid and cook for some 5 minutes and keep stirring in between. Now add 1 cup of water for gravy and then close the lid and cook till it is done. Let's check the curry, it is almost done. Shifting it to other side to make a quick jeera rice in cooker. And for this you will be needing some 2 tablespoon of ghee, 1 bay leaf, 2 cloves, 1 cinnamon and 2 cardamom. One tablespoon of cumin and 2 red whole chilli. I have used 1 cup of long grain basmati rice. Stir it for some 2 minutes. Add one and a half cup of water, few coriander leaves, add salt to taste and close the lid and cook for some one whistle. Now back to our kaju masala, to that add some half teaspoon of garam masala, mix it nicely and now add some 2 tablespoon of cashew nut paste. Mix it nicely and cook it for some 2 to 3 minutes on low to medium flame. And once it starts boiling and oil separates nicely, just turn off the flame and add fresh cream like 2 tablespoon will be enough. And garnish it with coriander leaves. 
so a delicious kaju masala is ready to serve you can serve this with plain rice naan roti or have it the way you like and let's check our rice it is also done perfectly making dough for puri and i always like to add kasuri methi to it and sometimes i add onion seeds also or sometimes ajwain it depends like what i'm making and i'm going to serve with what Let's show you all a very quick, easy, and delicious halwa recipe. You will be needing some two and a half tablespoon of ghee, and to that add one cup of rava, suji, okay, and just stir fry it till it becomes like light brown in color. Add good amount of raisins, cashew nuts, and almonds to it. Now add three cup of hot water. Followed by two and a half cup of jaggery powder. Add half teaspoon of cardamom powder and now mix everything nicely and let it cook till all the water is absorbed and all the ghee which we have added comes up. Now close the lid and cook it for some 2 minutes on a very low flame and a delicious jaggery suji halwa is ready. Must try it once it tastes really good. With this I end my vlog here. Hope you find it useful. Do give it a try. And thank you so much for watching friends. And those who have not yet subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe my channel.